queen. You look like an angel. I don't think this sword has seen any angel as lovely as you. Thank you. But anyone who's adorned with so much beautiful ornaments will certainly look as lovely as I look. But my queen, the special queen, I'm sure the king will be very proud of you. He stated that several times yesterday during your wedding ceremony. I know. I know. I hear Prince Ifa is back in the palace. Yes, my queen. The news has been circulating all over the kingdom since morning. But although everyone thought he would be around for your wedding night ceremony yesterday. I don't care about his absence from your wedding ceremony yesterday. They are the queen of our kingdom. They are second only to the king himself. The king will be waiting for me by now. Prepare me. Yes, yes. my queen.
Yes, um, thank you very much. I feel great joy and pride as you are here today. Yesterday, you all gave me the greatest honor when you turned out a mass to share with me in my joy as I took this beautiful woman as my wife and made her your queen. Thank you very much. Today again, I am happy standing before all of you to make yet another very important pronouncement which I know will come to so many of you as a surprise. But the truth is that uh, I have uh, decided to step aside and watch things shape up in this kingdom. This also means that I need some rest because my bones are failing me. My health has taken a dip. Now listen to me all of you. Today, I am proud to make the Crown Prince, Prince Kelechi, you are king designate of this kingdom. Oh, yes. He is going to become the king designate in my stead on acting capacity pending his full coronation. <laughs> what this means, my people, is that Kelechi will not take decisions, preside over the Council of Chiefs and all the meetings in the palace, because with my able chiefs and the elders of land and also enjoy everything that accrues to him as my benefit. <laughs> the king, listen, please come. Kelechi, today, you are hereby crowned the king designate of your people and you shall rule them with transparent honesty. Do you get that? Yes. 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 And uh, my dear, please come. Come forward. Today, again, I want her to become the wife of Prince Kelechi from this moment. Father, I'm back home. You're welcome home, sir. Welcome back home. 
Yes. My friends. Yes. Your friend Brian is outside watching to see you. Send him in. Alright. Excuse me. My friends. Greetings, my friends. Welcome back. Yeah. Why? How are you? Fine, thank you, my friends. Good. So um, now tell me, what have you been doing in my absence? <sighs> Nothing much, my prince. I've just been grieving over the great injustice that was done you while you were away. Injustice? Did you say? Yes, my prince. What sort of injustice are you talking about? I'm talking about your father getting married to the woman you love, Amanda, and then handing her over to Kelechi, your brother. Also making Prince Kelechi the king designate. That's more than enough injustice done you already. Ogwani, if you must know, my little stay away from the kingdom has actually opened my eyes to some very pertinent things. And I've come to see very few things in injustice. Whatever that has happened behind me while I was away is considered to be no injustice to me. My prince. Are you trying to say you're okay with all they did? Of course, I'm fine. I'm very okay with everything. The good thing about it is um, right now that I'm back, I'm a better and a wiser person. And I'm fully ready and equipped to handle what is mine. But the only hitch that might be would be your state of mind. Um, my prince, I don't understand. What, what do you mean my present state of mind? Don't be coy at me. Please, Ryan. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the woman called Amanda. The woman you and I both share love with. The woman we all care about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And also, I want to find out your state of mind in working with me as your prince and your, your, your king to be in no time. Yes, my prince. Of course, I'm ready to work with you. I've come to realize that my future is intertwined with yours and I can be nothing in this kingdom unless you become king. Oh really? You've come to realize that? Now you've accepted the fact that I'm your superior, right? Now you've accepted the fact that I, I, I will take my better share far, far even before you do. Yes, my prince. <laughs> that is good. I've come to accept my status in life, my prince. Oh really? No problems, you will take things one after the other. But the most important thing is to avenge what my father and my brother had done to me. All the injustice they've done to me, the pains they made me pass through a couple of months ago. And that they must pay for it. You're right, you, my prince, yes. Um, my prince, can I ask you a question? If you don't mind me asking, I'd like to know where you've been in the past three months and what you've been up to. I'll link you up on that. But I must let you know that my few months away from the kingdom is in preparation of my taking over. Alright? So when that is done, I shall intimate you. You'll be aware of it. Okay. That's nice. Once again, welcome back, my prince. Oh, please go. Um, you need to be very, very careful about your brother, Ifani. He is my son, though, but I do not trust him fully. I don't. He has this uh, glint in his eyes always and very, very ambitious. And it is this desire of his to become the king 
when he has no such destiny that will destroy him. So, son, I want you to be very, very careful. Is that okay? Okay, father. Good. I'm always careful with the fire, always. Please be, all right? Okay, you may go now. Thank you very much, father. Big brother, where are you headed to? Hmm. Oh, I see. Tama is headed to go meet the meats that was told in the girl for her. Kelichi, when will you ever be a man? Huh? For once in your life, when? If I ever see you back and still use yourself, you're welcome. Whoa! Someone has grown up. I see. Interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> see if I. You know, we can end this and come together as brothers. You're a cheat. You're not about a cheat. Huh? You, 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 you never fought for anything you, you, you ever had. Everything you ever had was, was fought for at least on your, your, your laps of my father. See, I... I've tried to be a brother to you. I've really tried. But it seems I've failed. If you want to see me as an enemy, fine. Then you be my guest. And I do not have any problem. I don't have any problem with that. But let me tell you something. You have in your possession what belongs to me. And what could that be? Amanda, of course. I'm talking about Amanda. Look, she is mine. I saw her first. I approached her as a man. You never did anything. Father stole her away from me and, and placed it on your hands. This, come on, you can't. It's funny, right? But let me tell you something. <laughs> You're toying with a lie. If you ever push your this go far further than this, I bet you I am going hey, to make it's it's fine. It's not doing what I said. You can say we're in the mood for this. I will assure you one thing if I am watching you. If you continue with this attitude of nuisance, disturbing this palace. I won't hesitate to deal with you. Wow. And punishment is not far from what I'm thinking. Wow. Okay. We'll see. I'm fine, Your Highness. You know, you're very beautiful. And I'll do everything, everything within my powers to make you happy in this palace. Everything? Everything. Thank you, Your Highness. Just relax. This is now your home. I think I will take advantage of memory card you have on your fine nailing and be in total control of the situation. No. You are only acting under your riotous emotions. And I'm not going to allow you to push us all into making a big and damaging mistake. No mistake. There's no mistake. I spoke with Ifahin today. I know what I saw. If I is a different man from the man we used to know, we better act fast before it's too late. Do you understand that doing that will mean starting our plans to make Ifahin king? After which he will be blackmailed for you to take over. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need to do before Kaleshi consolidates his hold on the throne, thereby making it difficult for him to get there. Ugwani, I think you should give a lesson here to your father. Huh? Let us just do as he says. Even if we are going to lay our hold on Ifani, it is not something that will be done within the next one month. One month? One month, you say? That's not enough time for Kaleshi to have a concrete grip on the throne, therefore making things pretty difficult for us. 
or enough time for us to get our acts together in view of recent development in order to take the best and most necessary decision to get what we want. Oh, come on, come on. I know both of you feel I'm doing this because of my love for Amanda, but that's not true. I love Amanda, but the truth is, I still need an urgency for us to nail it now before things get out of hand. Let's nail it once and for all. No. And this is going to be the last time I'm going to listen to you say this to me. As long as this business is concerned, I am the one planning and leading all of us into this business. So it's either you listen to me or you get ready to be kicked out on your own there. Talk to him, please. But I've come to see you. I mean, you, you have to you have to answer me. I, I need to know if I'm your son or some, some child you picked from the gutters. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, son. I don't know. What are you talking about? Father, you have to answer me. You have to answer me, please. I need to know. So I, I know that you hate me so much because I'm not your biological son. And that explains the, 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 the ill treatment meted on me all these years. If I... Nobody meted any ill treatment to you. The problem you have is that you bite more than you can chew. And of course, the fact that you don't have patience. I'm not patient. Of course, yeah. I'm not patient, Father. Yeah. How could I be patient when all this years, what you, you, you're busy building, make, making a bed for, for, for your favorite son, Kele, Kele to lie on? How could I be patient on that? You see, let me tell you this tonight, if I know. You see, this world, this life, is so simple that one can get whatever he wants. When you are prayerful and get the approval of the gods, yes. You must be patient to get the approval of the gods and you must be prayerful. Patience is a virtue that you must cultivate. And until you do that, I'm afraid you may not get to the part of your destiny. <laughs> oh, Father, man. Father, you, you know I have to, I, I've just... Hey, uh, if I, knew, I have closed this matter. All right? Life is not in my hands to control. I've done what I can do for you. Now, what you decide to make out of your life lies on your hands. Be careful. I've told you my beats. Now, get out of my face. I'm not surprised. Are you not going crazy gradually? Darling, I'm afraid the way Uganya is behaving. I don't think he has the nerves of steel to carry out something like this. You are very much correct there. That is why we have to take full charge and make sure we do what we have to do to make sure he becomes king while we are alive. So, what do you suggest we do now? Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean by nothing? We can't just sit down, fold our arms and watch things pass by like that without doing anything. We can. And that's what we are going to do. Listen, Informa. No one expected the action of the king today when he handed over his crown to Kelechi. But we have to be calm and watch how events unfold for us before we act. I still don't get you, my dear. What exactly are you driving at? Kelechi is a very soft man, one that we can mold and control easily. And now that he's king, I can easily get him to dance to my tomb in the Council of Elders meeting. We may not have anything to do with Ivani again. We can just go straight through Kelechi and get what we want. That is quite true, my husband. You do have a point there. Imagine where Kelechi becomes a clay in my hands and I can make him to do whatever I want him to do. 
and very soon I will get him messing up on the throne and the people will have no alternative than to ask for his head and since they already hate Ivan it will be easy for our son to be on the throne <laughs> you got it right I pray this thing will work out too it's going to work how it's to another man. The king designates himself. Please, you, you have to leave. If he sees you here, he'll take up your head. Don't worry about that. That's my brother. He's nothing but weak and stupid. Huh? He's not man enough to take care of you. No. Huh? You have to leave now, else I'll scream. Please leave. Why do I notice like your heart needs me? Why no. do I feel like your heart is racing like a Ferrari car? Good morning, son. You're all dressed already. Where are you heading to? I'm um, actually on my way to the palace to see if I'm... This alley that you won't even take your breakfast? Uh, Father, not to worry. Okay, I will eat at the palace. I'm sure whatever reason he must have had to have sent for me this early. It must be very important and urgent. Okay, but what do you say about my decision to stay down our plan of taking the throne and watch how events unfold before we take? Father, Father, you've made it quite clear to me that I have no power of my own to take decision on this business. Of course, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I want you to understand that what I am doing is for your own benefit. Now, son, I know I have told you this story over and over again, but it is something you will never be tired of hearing. I have lived my entire life in this kingdom. I was trained to be the next king when it is the turn of my family to produce the next king. The present king was in faraway London studying, but when it was time for my family to produce the next king, the kingmakers came up with this stupid ruling to bring him back to become king because they needed someone who is educated internationally to become king. No one cared about me. No one cared about my feeling. They compensated me with the position of the prime minister. That is not what I want. What I wanted was the kingship, the throne. And that is what I am going to get for you. Do you get me, son? Do you get me? 
You will be king, even if it has to cost me my life. I do, Father. Let me assure you, Father. I will be the next king of this kingdom, even if it has to cost some of my own blood. I won't disappoint you, Father. some changes in this kingdom very soon. I have the intention of making sure that Kelechi does not become king instead of me. Look at me. I've got all it takes to become king. I've got the brain and the qualities. Besides, I need to become king so I can pay back father and Kelechi over what the, the, the ill treatment needed on me for many years. But I need to know if you are with me on this. My lord, I am with you in anything you choose to do or want. Just say the word and it will be carried out to the later. No matter the conditions. Now let me tell you something. You better make sure you are with me on this. Once you are in this, there is no going back. There is no going back. Or else I'll have your head cut off. I'll have it on my window rails. If I find out that at the end of the day, you want to back out. My prince, my life and everything that makes me human, I hand over to you this minute. I am ready to die to the very end of this issue. Great. Nice. Then prepare for the work ahead. My enemies are about to kiss the dust. And there will be blood in this kingdom. Blood will roll. My prince, your enemies shall kiss the dust. And I have got your back. Prince. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. My dear young lady, I didn't come here to accuse you of anything. We are women and we both know the ways of men. Especially when they are taken by a woman. You said you saw the prince leave my room at night. And I maintain my stance that I don't know what you are talking about. I see. You want to prove stubborn to me. Anyway, I want you to know that I'm very much aware that Prince Ifani left this kingdom when he knew that his father wanted to marry you. And he did that because he cares about you. He's back again. And if he's the same person I know, I'm very sure he's going to try in patting your legs to know the hidden secrets there. How dare you speak to me like you're speaking to some prostitute? What nonsense is this? I've only come to warn you about Prince Ifani. He could be a pain in the neck. And he's not in the best of times with his elder brother. Please, don't come between them. I warn you, old woman. Stay clear of me. You had better leave my chambers right now for my attendants to come here and perform their duties. My daughter, I didn't come to fight with you. I've only come to offer a modely advice and... And I warn you that it's enough. This discussion has lingered long enough. Keep your advice to yourself. Better still, render it to people who need them. I don't. 
leave me alone. Okay, my daughter. I'll take my leave now. But don't forget what I told you. This kingdom is now in your hands because you have two brothers who want you to belong to each of them. If you allow that to cause a rift in this kingdom, you'll be held responsible and you'll pay the price for that. Who is that? You're threatening me? Oh, my daughter. I only offered my advice. And it will be in your best interest to take it. Do have a nice day, my daughter. Wait. My daughter. I know that you took care of my husband and his brother when their mother, the queen, died. I will have you know that I am queen of this kingdom now and I demand to be addressed and treated as such by everyone and that includes you. I never want to see you in my chambers unless I give you permission to come here. Don't you ever call me your daughter. I am your queen. My queen. It's hard to believe the extent they're willing to go to achieve their selfish aim. They will do anything and everything. They will steal, they will kill, deceive and betray. Greetings, and anyone who stands Ganyan. in their way. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please have your seats. My king, may your reign be long. May you live longer than the whole kings that this kingdom has ever produced. I greet you, my king. Thank you. Thank you very much. What may I do for you, Gary? Hey, my king, I, I have come to tell you something that will shock you out of your bone marrow. Something very, very important to this kingdom. Hey, Go straight to the point, Ugani. Uh, my king, there is something I want to show you. Something... Hey, Ugwai, how are you? Uh, what's what's up? I was told your car was parked in the compound. Come, 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 come to my quarters. It's fine. Ugwai came to tell me something important. He just bashed me. Yes! Kaleti, mind yourself. Do you hear me? This is the last time you're going to speak to me like this. How dare you? How dare you what? How dare you come into your royal chambers and talk to me like this? How dare you, like you walk into this chamber and talk to me? How? Yes. How? 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 Out of your mind? Out of what? I will punish you. Punish what? I will punish you. Dare not. Yes. 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 Well, I will punish you. 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 I will punish let me keep him there, Lord! I will deal with him! If I need, if I need, don't think because of this sit you're gonna yeah. talk to me like that, Kaleji. Huh? You got get out, get out of my sight! If I need. Kalechi has got the right to send the guards at me? Huh? Let me tell you something. He has chewed more than he can swallow in his lifetime. And I'm going to cut him down to his size. If I calm down. I'll do that! I advise you to calm down. I advise you to weigh your options before you take any action against Kalechi, your brother. He's not a king designate, you know? And that's where I end up being a prince. What are you talking about? Ugwani, what are you talking about? Let me tell you, I'm going to prove you wrong. You and all those that, 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 that believe otherwise. I will prove you wrong. Come on. It's not that I, what I'm trying to tell you. Don't give me that bullshit. Don't give me that bullshit. What is wrong with you? Huh? Since when have you started visiting Kelechi? You've changed your allegiance, right? You have. Since when have you started coming to this palace to see any other person than me? Will you shut up? Will you shut up and listen to me for once? 
Will you shut up? Talking to me? Do you know who I am? I said shut up. And when I shut up, it becomes so difficult for you to understand. I don't care who or what you think you are. Okay? I want you to listen and listen attentively. Because what I'm about to show you could make or mar your future. What are, you, what are you talking about? What's that? What, what's this? Go watch this at your major time. It's a movie. It's a movie with you as a star actor. Remember the other day I hooked you up with those fairies? Remember? I got it all recorded in there. You did? To ask me questions, okay? You were lucky you came into the palace while I was talking to your brother Kelechi. You actually came in at the right time. Because I was about handing that over to him. But why? How could you do this? How could you do this to a friend? How could you do this to me? <laughs> friend? Did I just hear you call me your friend? Yes, you're my friend! Your friend? What kind of friend treats us feel like a piece of trash? You're the sole reason I lost Amanda. I lost Amanda the very day I took you to her. <laughs> so, all this theatrics is about Amanda, huh? Don't ask me questions for your information. I've made several copies of that. And I got it even in different safe places. In case you're trying it in front of me. What do you want? What do I want? What do I want, you ask? What do I want? I want you to be my plaything. I want to control you. I want to do everything I ask you to do. Else, I'm going to show that to the world. I'm going to go public. That's what I want. Okay? What brings you here, young woman? Oh, hello. My name is Medina and I'm here to see your queen. You have to wait, please, while I get her info about your presence. Sure, thank you. All right. He wants to get me mad. Why does he always antagonize me? Every single time, I've tried to be a good brother to him. But he keeps annoying me in any way he can. I may have to banish him from this kingdom. Banish him? Banish your own brother? Yes, because I need to concentrate on ruling this kingdom. I can't do it to define around. That's not right. What will people say? You want to punish your own brother? They may turn against you. No, they won't. Everybody hates a fire in this kingdom. In fact, they'll be happy that I've sent him out of this kingdom. Really? Really? Yes. Really? And your finger pain is going to last for long? Oh, of course not, my love. They are going to throw it at your face. They will throw it at your face someday. Someone will say to you, you sent away your only brother so you can inherit the whole palace, the whole kingdom, in entirety, and keep it all to yourself. Now what's that called? Greed, greed, that's what they call it. I don't care. I don't care. All I need is to get me away and out of my sight, so I could get my bearings right. If Fanny is driving me insane, don't you get it? I do. Easy does it, easy. Oh, someday. It's all going to work out in your own favor, you won't believe it. 
You have to take things easy. Well, I guess a man has to listen to his wife sometimes. That is necessary. And that is why I'm going to take this line low. But I can't promise you the same next time he comes pulling the same stunt he pulled in front of a guy today. Yes. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Come in. Your Majesty. Yes. There's a young lady waiting outside to see you. Her name? Her name is Medina. Let her in. To achieve your selfish aim, they will do anything and everything. They will steal, they will kill, deceive and betray. And anyone who stands in their way, they will crush cause all they want to do is to achieve their evil intentions. Oh, oh what a Get me two men. I have an assignment for them. Yes, my friends. I mean, men that we can trust. I mean, that we can trust. Yes, my friends. I think I got just the right two men for this job. It's okay. You like go. they say, every day is for the thief. But one day is for the owner of the house You can carry out your evil deeds Thinking you get away, get away with it ah! Wow, I can't believe what I'm saying What? I thought you were joking when you said you were not the queen of your kingdom, tell me How did this all happen? Well, it's a long story, maybe not trust me, it is a long story But okay. let me cut it short, like summarize it I'd say that my family married me off to the king, Clinton married me off to his cute son. And then, now I'm the queen of the kingdom. Whoa! <laughs> I, I would not believe the story if I've heard it from somewhere else. But tell me, how come you've consented to being passed around, front, left, right and centre, amongst the men in this family? Medina, that is why I insisted on seeing you. My goodness, girlfriend, I need to talk to somebody. Somebody that will understand me. I need to pour my heart out to somebody who understands oh, how I feel. Yeah. What is the matter? in love. <laughs> Come on! That should be expected. You're a young woman, besides you're married. Yes, but I am not in love with my husband, the king designate. What? I'm in love with his younger brother. It, is that allowed in this kingdom? Of course not. Oh my goodness, the good thing is that he feels exactly like I do. Oh, you need to see the way he looks at me, Medina. Oh, he's everything my husband isn't. He's romantic. He's strong and he's fearless. As, uh, Amanda, Amanda, cut it. I think I know what the matter is with you. You're lusting after your husband's younger brother. But you know that's dangerous, right? I don't care. Oh, just one night with him. One night with him under the skin and boom. That obsession is killed. Amanda, so you actually asked me to come see you so you could seek my support for you to start sleeping with your husband's younger brother? Yes, what is wrong in that? Oh, come on, babe. Part of the reasons I agreed to marry the king is because I knew that his younger son would be at my beck and call to attend to my sexual needs. Amanda, I cannot even advise you to sleep with any other man apart from the man you're married to. Alright, thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. Finally, you have brought forth a grief to my life. I mean, what kind of a friend are you? You ought to be on my side. Well, I'm on your side. But I'm the kind of friend who would not even advise you to do the wrong thing and point you to the right direction when you're going the wrong way. Come on. Enough of this conversation. Won't you entertain me the way Queen should? Of course I will. Brandy. Amanda! Snap out of it. Come on, call, call your mates. Let them do something. on my side, remember? 
Oh, you're still my friend. I was just trying to be nice. My wife is a pain in the neck for me, Your Highness. She wouldn't go for me as a wife should. I go to the family and I come back without seeing any food at home. What kind of a wife is that? How do you expect me to give you food? Don't give me any money. Hmm? How do you want me to cook for you? Do I pay me here and I'm happy to cook for you? Is that what you want from me? You're a very stupid woman. If you had any sense, you should realize that women don't ask their husband for money these days. You have to go out of the house and look for money to feed your family. That's why I think you're a madman. Maybe you want me to start sleeping around so that I can raise money to feed you. Eh? Why are you talking? You're a very stupid woman. No. Why would you be running for your husband? Me? For your family? Me? You have to go out and look for money and provide it for your family. I don't believe you. You should do that. What kind of your wife are you? Hey, I don't want to have to shut up your mouth. But you said no, no. Oh, man, no, man. Do you realize that you are in front of our king? Or don't you have respect for our king anymore? If not for one thing. You too would have been fucked to death for this disrespect. Oh, my king, please forgive them. It's okay, Chiodo. It's okay. Do have your seats, Chiodo. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Your Highness. You know, I've heard what the both of you have said here today. But I will assure you that the problem here is not that he will not bring money for you to cook. Or that you will not cook for him. It's obvious that the both of you have lost respect for each other. That is why you guys rant on and on and on. And there's nothing anybody can do to make this marriage work except the both of you understand that the destiny of this marriage lies in your hands. You guys need to talk more often to make this marriage work. And from what I've seen here, it's obvious you don't even have time for each other anymore. Am I right? You are right, Your Highness. You never have time for me anymore. Do you have time for me? You go about with lazy men gossiping about the family to the detriment of your it's husband. Enough! Enough! What insolence! I will send you both home instead of sending you to prison for this public nuisance and constant fighting in my presence. I want the both of you to go home and sit down and have an honest dialogue concerning this marriage where you want the marriage to go because I want this marriage to work between the two of you. I give you three days to talk with each other and come back here and tell me what you've resolved to do in this marriage. Is that clear? Yes, Your Highness. Yes. Igwe, this couple should have been punished. My prince. Good day, Chief. Good day, my prince. Yes. Hey, hey, don't, don't give me that look. Look, I, I come in peace. Look at my hands. I'm not here to fight you this time. If I... Yes. What do you want? Well, um... You know. Going by the way you treated those, uh... Couple. That was, uh, that was a really brilliant one. I don't think if I wear in your shoes, I'll be able to do that. I, I can assure you. Uh, I appreciate this, but I accept it with some skepticism, and you know why. <laughs> your Highness, my brother. You see, um, I must say that um, the way you handle those couple, it really touched me. It, it stood in my heart. And... It was, it was really great. I, I think the only problem you have in here is um, the fact that I, I, I challenge you a lot. So this time around, I'm, I'm ready to just cooperate and give you all the maximum cooperations you need. I, I'm serious about that. Fine. <laughs> Knowing the kind of man you are, you know. Yeah. My prince, you have really spoken fine. Your Highness, please consider his position. Ariel, you're mm, me too. You know, you don't know what this means to me as king. We shall do. How are you? Hi. And unfortunately, I've been toying with the idea of banishing you from the kingdom. Damage 
you is enough, Amanda. That's it. What? I cannot stand here and listen to you say such words about your husband's younger brother. All right. Huh? Because he's caught on his beers. Well, I I know, I understand. I mean, if I was the one, I, I would have done the same too. But um, it's okay. Oh well, um, I I, I want to go on tour around our kingdom to see. I mean, the people, you know, the environment again. You know, it's been it's been months now. So um, that is beautiful, a brilliant idea. See, if I while you at it, take two of my cars and join with yours. I would love the people of this kingdom to know that my brother is back. And having a tour of the kingdom. <laughs> come here, come here. Thank you, big brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Good. This is beautiful. I mean, let's just have a toast for this, please. To lasting friendship and brotherhood. You know, but I, I can say it better. Okay. To the gods and to, to the sustenance of peace between I and my big brother. And for long life in his throne, and may you live forever. Forever. You say? You say. <laughs> Thank you very much, brother. You're welcome, my brother. So, um, I'll go right now. I I I'll go. You take care of yourself. If I am. Yeah. By the time you come back, a banquet will be waiting for you. We must celebrate this properly. Aww. <laughs> come here, brother. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. So you run along, huh? Have a great day. Thank you. I've got my brother the fool to think I'm on his side. <laughs> I mean, it's just so easy to be deceived. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even fall to my tricks. But you know, that's uh, Kalechi for you. Oh, Kalechi. He's a fool. He is. He's a fool. And that is why I say he can be king. What do you think? You're right, my prince. He, is, he can be a, 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 the king. He's so easy to be drawn out and he's so easy to be deceived. Mm. Um, have you got the man ready? Yes, my prince. You're sure about that? They are ready and raring to go. Good. Now I have to go around to that kingdom, round the pestilence in the, the, the kingdom, so-called people that call themselves important people. I have to go there now and talk to them so I can defend my dignity over what I'm about to do right now, over what I'm about to do right now. They will crush cause all they want to do is to achieve their evil intentions. Oh, what a world, what a wicked, what a wicked world we're living in. I'm so glad, honestly, I am. I mean, I'm extremely excited that you came. It's so boring this class without no one to talk to, Lord. I understand, at least I had fun too. At least now I have the most expensive jerseys to go home with. <laughs> but my dear, you have to be careful. Because with what you have in mind, you could easily land yourself in trouble. Don't worry. Now I am the maiden of the palace. The queen of the kingdom. I know very well how to handle my business. You just need to be careful there. <laughs> We all need to be careful. I mean, you need to be careful. But I do intend to be careful while I catch my phone. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to miss you. You'll be good. Right. You too. Mm -hmm. Be good. Bye. Hey, how are you? Chava. How's all of you? Chava. 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 How's business? Chava. 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 Chava.
Stolen. What is the matter? Why are you scaring the whole place like this? The memory card. I can't find it. Memory card? What memory card are you talking about? The memory card with Prince Ivan on it. It is missing. Hmm. That is not possible. I saw it the day before yesterday. In this place. And that is where I kept it. Are you sure you checked it very well? What could have happened to it now? That is what I don't know. I was sitting in the living room when it occurred to me to come upstairs and check. And I searched everywhere. I can't find it. You must have taken it. You oh. must have taken that card. Oh God. Oh God. I tried to push that possibility to the back of my heart. But I knew it. I knew it the moment I couldn't find that memory card. Did he tell me where he was going to when he left the house this morning? He said he was going to the palace to see Prince Ifani. Hi! Only God knows what that boy would have done with that memory card. What is wrong with this boy now? Hi! This boy. My people. What's happening here? Let me have the memory card you took from my wardrobe and let me have it right away, Ugani. Memory card. I don't have it. But it's somewhere where it's fetching us some good money. We're gonna have money and power. I can see that you are drunk. But that's not gonna stop you from telling me where the memory card is and what you have done with it. Drunk? Come on, Dad. I'm not drunk. Where is the card? I only went there to celebrate our newfound power. As for the card, I've handed it over to Prince Ifai. What? I'm sure he must be shivering his pants right now. I should have known that I have a weakling as a son. A weakling and an idiot. I'm going to surprise you, Dad. I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to become king of this kingdom, whether you like it or not. You're going to sit there, watch the crown being placed on my head. Tomorrow morning, Prince Kalechi is dead. And after then, I'm going to blackmail Ifan with a card. Do you really think Ifan is going to do what you want? That was the only copy we had. And you handed it over to Ifan. And you think I told him so? Oh, oh, so you think I'm that stupid to have told him that. Look, he thinks I have various copies hidden all over the place for my own protection. Dad, I'm going to be king of this kingdom whether you like it or not. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Thomas and family. How are you doing? You want a handshake? You should have seen the way he bowed down before me. If I is now a changed man and he has accepted to work with me for the benefit of our kingdom. He's suddenly a changed man. And you don't see anything suspicious about that. Why should I be suspicious? Ifani is my younger brother, remember? There's nothing to worry about. I'm just happy for the man he has become. That's what matters. Hmm. My king, I am happy that you're now in good terms with your younger brother. But I want you to be very careful with him. I don't want you to give yourself into his arms completely until you find out his motives for this sudden change. I understand, Isabella. If I had been a pain on everybody's neck. But believe me when I tell you that I am completely and totally tired of fighting with him. He has accepted me as king 
Why create any more tensions? Because your brother is a snake. And he has a way of getting things in his own way. Anyone dealing with him must be very careful. Enough of this conversation, Miss Abena. Seriously, I don't like the way you're taking this. I expected you to be happy with me. That I and Ifai are now friends. We are being overly suspicious over nothing. I am sorry, my king. Pardon me. You see, I was only trying to voice out my fears and to make sure you're careful about... I... Stop, Isabella. Just stop. Just help me assign some attendance to prepare a banquet for myself and my brother. Yes, Your Highness. I intend to host him when he comes back today. Yes, Your Highness. Ooh, I need to go spend some time with my wife, you know. Life is really good. Everything is falling in place. Come on, cheer up. There's no problems. Yes, Your Highness. Have a nice day, sir. You are too soft to be a king, my son. Too soft and too trusting. May the gods protect you. For going, you really messed up. Hmm? You really messed up. The very moment you brought that memory card to me. Please, please. That was a mistake. I don't know what came over me, please. Really? You're scared now. <laughs> you don't know what came over you. So tell me, at what point did you not know what came over you? Was it at the point where you were filming me? Or the point where when you decided to bring the tape to me? Huh? Answer me! Please, let me finish. What are you going to do to us? There's no way you can kill us and get away with it. Yes. Yes, we have several other copies of the card and they have been scattered with other people to make it public. Yes. We are dead. Oh, really? <laughs> Unfortunately, you forgot to send some of the copies to hell because that's what I'm here to take you guys to. All of you. Oh, please. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. Mr. Thomas, I overheard you. I overheard all of you talking about the video. That it was the only copy. Uh, I overheard this long before I showed uh, my presence. Please, I'm, I'm your friend. You scared now? You scared now? You can't kill us. Oh, really? eliminated them right now down their way to hell beautiful okay um take away this man just take him off take him off take him out of here we don't have time just do it now please Where's the field? The yeah, front is, yeah. Okay, take it and burn down the house right now. We don't have time. Do it immediately. Still be 
sure you drove around where people would see you. Yes, my prince. Okay, let's go. Up to my prince. I don't know why the police are complicating this matter. Today they say it's murder. Tomorrow they say it's domestic accident. What do they want us to do now? We are tired the way this investigation is going on. But if someone or some group of people conspire to come and kill Chief Thomas and all members of his family one day, then I'm really scared. Who is even safe in this community again? Nobody. Nobody is safe at all. Nobody. What if the killers came from outside the kingdom? Who knows? Maybe this is a case of some business deals gone bad. Business deal gone bad? Yes. Not possible. I don't believe so. We all knew Chief Thomas, how much he hated going outside this community for anything. Top place of doing business of such magnitude without informing people. No, I don't believe so. Okay. I'm really tired of where everything is going. The death of Chief Thomas and his family in one day is a monumental loss to this kingdom. Um, my suggestion is, if, ah, uh, anyway, to set up a committee within us so as to come up with um, a good, a better result over the over what the police are, are, are giving to us. You think so? Of course. I know so. See, um, we must make sure that the perpetrators of such a heinous crime do not go scot free. Hmm. So, who do I appoint to handle such a task? Um, well, Your Highness, I, I must say that uh, Chief Thomas and uh, has been a very great member of this kingdom. And uh, Ogwanyi is a bosom friend of mine. So I think the best thing to do is to make sure that we, we, we do not let them go like that. I am suggesting that I am the capable person that can take care of this, this that can head such a committee. Thank you, Fine. You know, I'll be very grateful if you can handle this matter and come back with something positive. Oh, of course, Your Highness, um, Miss Chief Thomas was a very great member of this kingdom, and uh, Ugwain is a very is, is a bosom friend of mine. And uh, so I think whoever that has deprived us of their presence should not be allowed to go scot free. Wow. So with that, I am certain that is possible. Thank you very much, Fai. Thank you very much. <laughs> my elders, there is one more thing that has been bothering my mind. We all know that Chief Thomas is dead. Yes. And a vacuum has been created in this kingdom. You will permit me to appoint a new prime minister, even if it's on a temporary basis, to fill that gap, for it is not good for our kingdom. I will appoint one person among us here to become the new Prime Minister. <laughs> Permit me to appoint my brother, if I, as a new Prime Minister. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, my elders. I appreciate it. Hi. Amanda. <laughs> oh, my friends. How did you get in here? What are you doing there? Oh, relax. I found your room door open, so I said to come in and see you. Hello. <laughs> Oh, look at you. None that I stay aware. It's more strength in me. I would like to witness it. <laughs> so, I want 
able to people to start making uh, preparations. Who was that? Father, is that permitted by the customs? I thought you were supposed to build your ancestors before such a thing could happen. No, my son. It can take place anytime. And I want it done now. So both of you should start making the preparations. Uh, so that um, I would not see your romance. Show me your new skill. <laughs> what did you say Pleasant surprise. I, I haven't seen you in my chambers for a while now. I know, I know. I've been so busy with the people, you know. But I'm here now. <laughs> you are. But guess what? I got good news. Oh, my ears are open to hear, Your Highness. <laughs> <laughs> my coronation is coming up soon. Yes. What can I do for you? Please, can I have a word with you? Alone? You may leave. This had better be reasonable and fast. As you can see, my maidens were attending to me before you came. Make it fast. I know what you've been doing with Prince Ifani, and I want you to stop it henceforth. What did you say? I know you heard me well enough, and I've come to give you this as a warning, the very last warning. The next time I catch you sneak in and out of Prince Ifani's quarters, I must make sure you're caught and disgraced by everyone in this kingdom. How dare you? How dare you point your fingers at me when you speak? How dare you speak of me in such despicable manner? Have you forgotten who I am? I know who you are. And it surprises me that you're behaving like a common slut. <gasps> I warned you. I warned you not to cause this affection between Prince Kalecha and Ifani. But it's evidently clear that's what you have in mind. You are so Amanda! Save the long talk and the fake indignation. I want you to know that I've been in this palace long before you were even born. This kingdom must stand tall. And I cannot stand by and watch a woman like you come in here and desecrate our kingdom. If I ever catch you sneak inside Prince Ifani's house again, it will be your last time in this game. I've spoken and I mean it. She threatens me? My last time in the palace. She? Yes, come in. My friends. Have a little.
when here I am offering myself to serve my people. What is the problem with that? Why is my request being rejected? Eh? Because you are not ready for such aggrandizement. Yes. Eh? We are talking about how your senior brother took ill, a strange illness for that matter. And Madame Isabella that just died of heart attack. I wouldn't want to mention Chief Thomas and his entire family. All this happening before me. Listen to me, son. This fight for positions must be stopped for now. Stop that and let me be. Father, this whole thing is making me go crazy. I'm just saying I'm capable. I want to take over from Kelechi, who is the king designate, who can't even perform his functions now because he's ill. I am the one who will make you the king designate. And I said that you are not ripe for it. Why can't you wait? When the time comes, I will let you become one. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. I'm all out having a feeling that I'm being hated. <laughs> I don't care about these people. But all I know is I've been hated. Ifani, do you know you are very, very insensitive? Me? Yes! How? Otherwise, how can I be telling you about all these debts registered in my kingdom? And you are not touched. And all you care about is how to get to the throne and become the king. Now, do you even know that with all these facts before me, I can suspect that you are the one that poisoned your brother? Me. Yes, you. Me, father. I did not. I did not. All I've done here in this, is this kingdom is to, to play my role. I've worked. Everybody can bear me witness. There are witnesses everywhere. I have worked and I've played my role. And I asked you, what have you done? What have I done? What have you done for your people? What have you done for this kingdom, Mifani? What? what? Ivani, please let me be. Let me be, Ivani. And as far as this matter is concerned, I am done with that. Good day. It's okay. I understand. It's sad to see how some people can be so wicked. It's hard to believe how did the go? extent they're willing to go. Didn't go to work go. at all. I mean, he's still refusing me the throne. He's still adamant about it. I mean, all he said was for me to be patient. For how long am I going to be patient? My love, take it easy. If he wants you to be patient, then be patient. Patient? For how long? For how long, Amanda? I can't, I can't bear this. You know my pursuit and my quest for the throne. I mean, I have to do something drastic, something terrible that was poor and, 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 and you know, sent something. I mean, the best thing for me to do is to just leave, leave this kingdom and go someplace else. Leave? Yes. You want to leave the kingdom? To where if I... To where? Would you, and leave me here? Let me do it here without you. If you have to leave the kingdom, then I have to go with you. You don't understand, Amanda. We all can't just leave. Someone has to be there and someone has to be here. And you have to be here. Stay back and do what? So you can look out for things for us. Please. I know it's hard and difficult, but please, I'm sorry. Huh? I can't stay here without you. Please, Amanda, please. Just understand, I'm sorry. Please, but you have to stay back. We can't all go together. Someone has to be here and stand for us. Please stand for us here.
I've spent my entire life longing to sit on this throne as king. And I've done a lot to make that happen. But despite everything, it, it doesn't want to happen. Nothing want to happen. Why is that so? Why? When am I going to ever sit on this throne as king? When? <laughs> My daughter, what is it? Why are you wearing a sad face? Your Majesty, your son, the Prince, he has left the palace and the kingdom for good. What? When did that happen? Because I spoke with him last night. This morning, Your Majesty. He left this morning. He left a note with his guard, Utundu, for you. Utundu was afraid to deliver the note to you, so he gave it to me. Oh my God. What is happening? Huh? Why do all my children want me dead before my time? Why? Highness, do you have any idea why he left the palace? Yes. I want to become the king right away. But I told him to allow me to finish mourning Isabella. Hmm? Isabella is one woman that stood by me for a very long time since I became the king. He even took care of uh, Ifani and Kelechi. But Ifani wouldn't listen to me. Huh? Your Majesty, that means you have to reconsider. You have to change your mind and bring him back. I mean, judging from the content of his letter, I don't think we'll ever see him again if you don't give him the kingship. Give him the kingship so he can come back to us. <laughs> if I give him the kingship, what happens to your husband? I mean, by the time your husband gets well, will he be able to relinquish the throne to him? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sure he will, Your Majesty. I'm sure he will. Now, have you discussed this with him before? <laughs> of course not. No. Your Majesty, I am only worried about what people will say when they find out he's not in the palace. They'll think all is not well with us. And that isn't good for any of us at all. <laughs> no. The Fanny is my son. And I know him well enough to know that um, Making him the king designate now would be a great mistake. Okay? Let him be. Leave him. Let him go to wherever he wants to go to. This is his home. He will long for it and come back. Uh, sorry, Your Majesty. But um, I was um, just... Enough, Amanda. Please. I have made up my mind on this. Where is your daughter? Your daughter has been missing in this palace. For some days now. In fact, for two days now, I have not set my eyes on her. She's been missing. And when we checked her quarters, we found out that a lot of her things have been moved out of this palace. My king, I swear, I don't know where she is. She has not been confiding in me for some time now. Your daughter has been behaving strangely recently. When her husband died, she was sad and she cried a lot. And I understood that to be a sad woman that lost her husband. No wonder 
She has been walking around this palace absent mindedly. And suddenly she became so radiant as if she has gotten another lover. God forbid, my king. That is against the tradition of her land. She is the queen now and must marry whoever that sits on the throne as king. But she's nowhere to be found. She's nowhere to be found around this palace. Where is she? Now tell me she has gotten another lover somewhere else. She has moved with another man. My king, believe me when I say I don't know where she is. That is the truth. And I am sure you know that I have every good intentions to look for her. Everywhere that she is. And when I find her, that she must face my rot. I know that, my king. I know. Good. Now, are you aware that she is pregnant? Yes, she told me. Good. Are you also aware that my son is not responsible for that pregnancy? What? Oh, yes, you heard me. My son is not responsible for that pregnancy. You don't know how excited I am. I mean, you being here, it's, it's, so, it's so nice. You don't know how hell it is staying in the city without you for the past six months. Six months without me? When you left me in that palace of horror for six months, do you know the hell I went through? I know. I honestly do know. I understand, but I needed you to be there to look out for things. Of what use would that be? Of what use has that even been? I know. I know. You know, when I heard that Kalechi died, my hopes grew and I was so excited, thinking thinking that man would call me and, and, and give me the throne, but later I heard he, he went back on the throne. That man is such a hard nut to crack. Well, you took after your father, right? You are as stubborn as your father is. <laughs> I really didn't care about Kalechi's death. I mean, not like I'm some mean person, but I just couldn't care less. Worst of all, the man kept looking at me as if he was so certain I had a hand in his son's death. I felt so uncomfortable, I had to black out. Are you serious? Yes. I was okay. And I also heard Otondo died. What really killed him? Suicide. Suicide? Mm-hmm. That isn't like the Otondo I used to know. How, how come? No, well, lots of things change. In six months, lots of things can change. Wow. That's crazy. So tell me, what's been happening to you? Well, I'm just here. i just, just been here trying to contain myself in my little sphere of life and running my business, doing what I'm doing. And, well, my mind just can't stay away from that throne. I tried as many times as possible, but I still i am engulfed in that passion for the throne. If I... Mm. You just can't let go of the desire of being king, can you? I can't. I can't, my dear. I just, I just can't. I try. I try many times to... No, I just can't. Are you enjoying what you're eating? Yes, I am. I honestly don't know how to start this discussion. Just, just go ahead, I'm all ears. I'm listening. I'm pregnant. So you're pregnant for Kalechi, right? Kalechi. If I, Kalechi and I never slept together, that's my life. No. Oh, my love. I'm pregnant for you. I'm pregnant with your child. And I suspect your father knows already. The way he looks at me. Why aren't you saying anything? If... Why aren't 
did you say anything? Just give me a moment. He said, give me a moment. If I am. If I Hundra, hundra, who sent senti? Who sent senti? Hundra, hundra, who sent senti? Hundra, who sent senti? Who sent senti? Hundra, hundra. Who sent Sente? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? You don't have to see this. What is it I don't have to see? Why did you start doing rituals? Let me tell you something. Listen, I need to sacrifice somebody, and you are the food to the gods. God forbid. You have no food for the gods. What are you doing? Now, if you must know, I sacrifice a tondo. And it's clear to me that I need to sacrifice someone else in pursuit of my tune. And you are the next person. No! The company is coming out! No! 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 Come here! Come here! Where are you? Come here! Come here! Amanda. Amanda, just come out, please. Come out. This is why I invited you over here. To be with me. I was informed that the gods want two people and as human sacrifice and I've I've sacrificed or turned or already to them. I can't I can't go back but continue. Amanda. You had everything any woman would need. You had my love and that of my father. And yet you allowed amorous and illicit desires to cover your heart. You caused my untimely death. 
and for that another Today, I am quite very, very happy. You all are aware of the terrible things that happened in my kingdom, in my palace, too. As for me, as a man, I leave everything for the gods to handle and take decisions on. <clears throat> you will all remember how I made my late son, Prince Kelechi, my king designate for my people. It was the same period that we lost Chief Thomas and his entire family. Long after that, Madame Isabella, a great woman of honor and the chaplain of this palace, died of heart attack. Long after that, my son, my hair apparent, Prince Ifani took off and left me alone in this palace for more than six months now. And up till now, we have not seen or heard from him. His reason was that I refused to make him king when his brother took ill. Now, I want all of you to listen to me and listen good. In the event that I am no more, that I join my ancestors, please, Make sure that Prince Efani never became king after me. I repeat, don't ever crown Prince Efani the king of our land. I have spoken. I don't know how he pushed me into this. I don't know how I got into this. Please have mercy on me. Please, I mean, I'm not innocent, but I don't know how I got into this. I don't know what got into me. It's only the gods that will forgive you, Amanda. Only the gods. And as for you, come here, come here. Come here. 
Away, I'm not surprised that you ended up like this. <laughs> now, both of you are hereby banished from this kingdom. It serves him right. Both of you are hereby banished from this kingdom. And any attempt to come back to this kingdom, both of you will be stoned to death. <laughs> Nangats! Your Highness! Take them away. It's hard to believe the extent they're willing to go to achieve. Stands in their way, they will crush us all. They want to do is to achieve their evil intentions. Oh, what a world! What a wicked, what a wicked world we're living in. Man's inhumanity to man is the honor of. One day.